Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, let us see about the bioisosterism, which is very important in drug discovery, molecular docking, or computer aided drug design. Actually, the concept of isosteer was introduced by Irving Langmuir in the year 1990, just further extended as bioisosterism by Harris Friedman in the year 1950. Actually, isosteer means uh, they are compounds or groups of atoms which have the same arrangement of electrons. Bioisosteers are compounds or the functional groups which have similar number of electronic arrangements and they possess similar biological activity. So, let us see the reasons why we have to use bioisosteers in computer aided drug design. It is to design the new drugs to improve the pharmacological activity, it may be to improve the selectivity of the compounds towards the receptors, to modify the activity of the lead compound, to alter the metabolism of the lead or to reduce the toxicity. The concept of bioisosteries and the many scientists have worked in this area and let us see some of the scientists how they have, what they have uh, introduced as concepts. So first the molecular number was proposed by Al. So it tells the number of uh, the molecules and the number of atoms. We will see an example. There was ammonium. The number of atoms of N is uh, 1. The atomic number is 7. So for hydrogen it is uh, 1. The atomic number. The number of atoms are 4. So when we total it, it comes to 11. So the sodium is also having an atomic number 11. So they can be interchanged to increase the activity or the kinetic property. This was proposed by Allen. The next is uh, the concept uh, by Langmuir. He said uh, it is based on the arrangement of electrons. So the first group of elements or the second group of elements or third or fourth group of elements could be interchanged. Suppose copper could be interchanged with zinc and uh, eighth group of elements, ninth group of elements or tenth group of elements could be interchanged. And he also proposed that twentieth group of elements uh, could be interchanged uh, that is uh, manganese and uh, chromium and 21st group of elements could also be interchanged the next concept was proposed by grim hydride it is based on the hydrogen displacement so the seventh uh, phi a group of elements have number of electrons uh, uh, seven so nitrogen and uh, ch could be interchanged the eighth uh, eight electrons in the shell they could be interchanged that is oxygen nh or ch2 could be interchanged so such a displacement of hydrogen is uh, proposed by grimm's hydrogen hydride displacement law so these groups could be interchanged for their bio isosterism the next is erland mayer concept it is based on the number of peripheral electrons so these are the groups uh, what could be interchanged suppose chlorine could be interchanged with bromine or iodine or sh or phenyl hydride groups the next is hinsberg proposed the concept ch double bond ch could be interchanged with ch double bond or s could be interchanged with nitrogen so let us see tripalanamine uh, there is a change in the methaphenylene uh, the group has been interchanged here so this benzene group has been replaced with thiophene group. So the activity of antihistaminic activity has increased. So this concept was introduced by Hinsberg. So let us see the classification of bioisosteers. There are two types. One is classical bioisosteers. They are monovalent atoms or groups, bivalent atoms or groups, trivalent, tetravalent or ring equivalents. And there are non-classical bioisosteers. They are cyclic versus non-cyclic functional groups uh, such as carbonyl, carboxyl, amide, hydroxyl, thioethers, thiourea, azomethane, and iodine groups. So let us see the classical bioisosteers first: monovalent atoms and uh, groups, and they are fluorine, hydrogen, oxygen, SH, chlorine. Such are monovalent atoms. So here they have given uh, the bioisosterism of hydrogen and fluoride. This uracil, when the when the group is interchanged with uh, hydrogen to fluoride, so this creates an anti-cancer compound. So next is uh, the interchange between OH 
and sh so this when it is interchanged guanine becomes thioguanine a yeah, anti cancer compound is emerged so next is uh, interchange between uh, bioisosterism nh2 and ch3 it gives rise to a more potent dolbutamine which is a anti diabetic compound so there are other examples like acetothymidine and uh, thymidine then uh, diphenhydramine and uh, carbenoxamine and let us see the examples for divalent atoms or groups which are used as bioisosters and they are c double bond s c double bond o c double bond nh or c double bond c so for example there uh, let us see about c double bond s and c double bond o so here uh, there are two compounds when the double bond uh, yeah, that is uh, when it is a uh, double bond o the uh, in vitro and the in vivo activity is in vitro activity is in, uh, it is uh, that is in vivo activity is increasing when it is a uh, double bond s yes, it has in vitro activity increases and this is one of the classical example so next is c double bond o interchange with the nh procaine uh, when the functional group uh, gets uh, interchanged with uh, the c double bond o and uh, nh so that is c double bond o and co nh it gives rise to anti arrhythmic compound procainamide whereas procaine is a local anesthetic compound the other examples are c double bond o and c double bond s hyposanthine to 6 mercaptopurin a basically a anti cancer compound so next is uh, there are some examples for uh, trivalent atoms or groups uh, that is n double bond and ch double bond group mepiramine and uh, chlorpheniramine chlorpheniramine is uh, less sedative when compared to the uh, mepiramine both are actually sedatives but chlorpheniramine is a uh, less sedative than the uh, mepiramine so next is uh, ch uh, with uh, n uh, you can see here uh, one n is uh, introduced here so this gave rise to a compound uh, 2025 20, diazocholesterol, so which is a cholesterol synthesis inhibitor. So let us see for tetravalent groups, and there are still choline, uh, quaternary ammonium group, phosphonium ion, or uh, arsenium ion. They could be interchanged, but when uh, it is interchanged with the arsenium ion, it is more toxic. So next, uh, let us see the ring equivalence. So benzene could be equivalent in the equivalents are pyridine, thiophene, uh, pyrrole, and uh, furan. The equivalents for pyridine are uh, furan, oxazole, and uh, imidazole. And the equivalents for furan are imidazole and uh, benzene. And the equivalents for uh, oxazole are uh, pyrimidine and uh, pyridine. So let us see pyroxicam and uh, tenoxicam. Uh, here uh, the benzene ring is uh, replaced with the thiophene ring. It gave rise to a long acting compound tenoxicam. And the next is sulfa diazine and uh, sulfa methoxazole. Both have the antibacterial activity, but the sulfa methoxazole could be used orally. And next is sildenafil and uh, vardenafil. Here uh, you can see the here a nitrogen is introduced which gave rise to a more potent vartanafil so the, the other classical examples for ring equivalents are etoric oxib valdic oxib and uh, silic oxib so you can uh, see here uh, the benzene group uh, it is replaced with uh, pyridine and uh, our imidazole group so you there are some classical examples for the ring equivalents so next is cyclic and uh, non-cyclic there is a, a ring and uh, ring opening so estradiol and uh, diethyl uh, stilbestrol uh, diethyl stilbestrol is a uh, more potent uh, than estradiol the next is endomethacin and uh, tolmetin both are uh, uh, nsaids tolmetin is a uh, more potent than the endomethacin so next is uh, let us see some of the functional groups uh, which are non-classical bioisosteres carboxyl group so the carboxyl group uh, could be interchanged with the so2 nh2 co nh oh uh, or so2 oh co nh cn let us see some examples 
para amino benzoic acid that is COOH is replaced with the SO2OH that is SO2OH and this gave rise to a more uh, antibacterial compound sulfonylamide. Let us see the, the, some of the hydroxyl and amide bioisosteres. So first uh, the hydroxyl uh, equivalents are uh, NHCONH2, NHCOCH3, NHCN and uh, these gave rise to a more anti that is OH group when it is uh, replaced with uh, CH2OH or NHSO2CH3 or NHCONH2. It gave rise to more antihistaminic compounds. And the amide, uh, amine uh, groups or amide groups are very important in protein chemistry. Here you can see the it is uh, the replacement with uh, CF3. It gave rise to an uh, anti osteoporotic compound which is a uh, cathepsin inhibitor. So let us see the functional groups of halogens uh, which could be interchanged. So halogens uh, could be interchanged with uh, CN uh, that is chlorine could be interchanged with CN or CF3. You can see the IC50 value is increasing and whereas chlorine is having a lower IC50 value. So this is a short information of all the bioisosteres. I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, uh, kindly press the like button. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for more, more updates. Kindly share this video to more of your friends. Thank you.